Committee. He also serves on the Financial Services and Education Workforce Committees. Good to have you with us, Congressman. Uh, it sounds to me like uh, Senator Reid uh, and his colleagues there, uh, Sh Schumer and Durbin, uh, mean to sort of uh, slap Boehner around a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's it's kind of ironic to hear Harry Reid suddenly showing so much respect for the institution after the way he, uh, you know, blew up the filibuster over the course of the last couple of years. Y you know, Lou, the American people spoke in the election of 2014. There were no issues bigger uh, on on the the uh, debate of of the last election than the question of whether uh, we should allow the president's, uh, you know. Uh, immigration reforms to move forward. After the election, the president decided uh, to double down and, and issue executive orders that I believe are unconstitutional. The House has acted. We voted to both fund the Department of Homeland Security and to, to uh, not allow the president's unconstitutional actions. And frankly, right. I think we need to stand our ground. Well, stand your ground. It's too late for that, I guess, as far as Senator McConnell's concerned. It, and it makes it pretty clear. Uh, somebody's doing somebody else's bidding because, as you say, the midterm elections were significant. The Republicans mm. won a, by historic, historic levels, and somebody seems to be either listening and taking their orders from the Chamber of Commerce and the Business Roundtable or some other entity because it sure isn't the American people, as you just said. Yeah, and then you just you add into that the district court ruling from last week where the district court judge said the president's actions may well be unconstitutional. It seems to me that there's nothing unreasonable about not funding actions that may be unconstitutional. And uh, I think the, the compromise here is we shouldn't fund these things until the court determines that, that they ought to be allowed. Uh, the House, I believe, is on strong footing. I think they will have a difficult time uh, passing any kind of clean funding bill through the House. You're going to have a, uh, your caucus will meet uh, tomorrow. You're going to get some indication. Uh, have we got Speaker Boehner's words here so that everybody can hear how he responded uh, to Senator McConnell and his decision to bifurcate uh, the bill uh, into funding uh, DHS and defunding in a separate uh, bill the executive fiat, amnesty fiat. Boehner saying this, quote, this vote will highlight the irresponsible hypocrisy of any Senate Democrat who claims to oppose President Obama's executive overreach on immigration but refuses to stop it. Now, do you find that uh, uh, an acquiescence to the, uh, to the McConnell approach, uh, Congressman? Well, the Speaker has a, uh, a, a hard job. I would just say this. The American people didn't send us here to to highlight hypocrisy, they sent us here to stop the president's uh, overreach, his unconstitutional actions. And that's what I think my colleagues in the House will want to try to stop this week. That's certainly where uh, what, what I will be working to do. This is a direction I think a lot of, a lot of Americans are going to be very disappointed in the direction, uh, having won uh, control of both houses, uh, the direction in which the Republican Party is going, don't you think? Well, Lou, you know, when this strategy was set out a few months ago, our promise was we would fight tooth and nail to stop the president's unconstitutional overreach. We've now got a district court opinion saying that these actions may be unconstitutional. I frankly think we need to continue to stand our ground. Now, this is serious business. I mean, no one wants to see the Department of Homeland Security shut down. That's why the House has acted. We have acted to make sure that we fund the Department of Homeland Security and also to stop the president's executive action. Frankly, given the district court's ruling that says these actions may be unconstitutional, it seems to me there's nothing unreasonable about not funding those activities. Do you see anything um, perhaps strategic and of a different purpose on the part of the Republican Party uh, as expressed in the Senate, uh, the House, the Republican National Committee perhaps as well, in that there has been no attempt to create a message uh, on the filibuster of the Democrats against the DHS funding bill uh, in the Senate. There's been nothing but crickets on this. When at the same time the president and Reed and every Democrat is beating you guys over the head, trying to blame you, there's no Republican response. There's no Republican message. Uh, and the message would be very simple. The Democrats, in filibustering the funding bill, are putting the executive fiat ahead of national security. But there wasn't yeah, well, even that, that wasn't even whispered. 
Well, Lou, I mean, listen, I think they're, they're, we can always question whether we could do more. I know in my home state of Indiana, though, my seven Republican colleagues in the Congress sent a letter to Joe Donnelly, who's someone who said that he believes the president overreached with executive mm -hmm. order, said, you know, Mr. Donnelly, Senator Donnelly, please allow debate. We got virtually no coverage back home in, in our local media. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I had a, a video, you can find it on our Facebook page, that, yeah. where but I spoke I, directly to, to, to Senator Donnelly respect, well. Congressman, I'm, I'm talking about a national campaign because it is a national sure. issue. Uh, one in which you have the funding, the money, and it's as you have said, and, and, I, and I compliment you, I, I congratulate you, because you're talking about this isn't a vote uh, on uh, a matter of achieving a, a, a record. Uh, it is not to expose hypocrisy, because frankly, that is, <laughs> that is so obvious uh, in, in that town. Uh, it is, however, a constitutional crisis in the offing, and it's going to be exacerbated, perhaps, as a result of the actions that are taken uh, today and tomorrow leading into Friday. We, uh, we didn't create this constitutional crisis. The president did. We have a responsibility to step into it. You know, Lou, my only point would be, you're right, sure. could more have been done from a paid campaign. But, you know, the, the, uh, the, at times it seems like the, the, the mainstream media is, is on their side, too. So we've got to work and fight through that. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, Congressman, as you and I both know, that's not an appearance. That's a fact. That's easy, yeah. Congressman, appreciate your time. Good luck. Uh, I know we're going to have some interesting days coming at us. Thanks so much. Thanks, Lou. Congressman Luke Messer. Time now for a look at our online poll results. We ask, are Democrats putting amnesty ahead of